In this lecture snippet, I'm going to focus in on the installation of Windows 8 operating system. And I've gone ahead and put in a DVD of Windows 8 into my computer. And I've turned my computer on, restarted it, basically I've chosen to boot from the CD image. And it's currently loading up and we're going to go through the installation process. Now I already have an operating system installed on my computer. And really the purpose of this is to wipe that operating system clean and install a brand new operating system, this Windows 8 operating system, over top of my current operating system so that the old one no longer remains. And you can see that when I first turn it on here, I've got the windows set up and I can choose between the language, time, and currency format and my keyboard settings. I'm going to go ahead now and just hit next, which is the default that I want. Also want to point out, you can see that you've got the option here to repair your computer as well using the same DVD image that I have. I'm not going to repair my computer. In this video I'm just going to install this operating system. So I'm going to choose install now. And after about 30 seconds or so after that you'll be prompted with this license terms agreement and you'll need to accept the license agreement in order to continue. So I'm going to go ahead and accept those license terms and hit next. I'm now presented with two different options. I will tell you that I rarely ever use the upgrade option for quite a few reasons. Number one is if there is any kind of malware or spyware or adware on your computer you're going to keep that usually whenever you upgrade your computer and any of the changes you've had or the settings that you've had or anything that you may have used to manipulate the operating system may still be there and so typically speaking whenever we install a brand new operating system I like to tell people to make sure all of your files are backed up everything has been taken care of moved to a different hard drive or move to a backup source and what we're going to do is completely reinstall everything from scratch and we're not going to have anything else carry over on my operating system so this is the option that I typically like to choose and you can see now that I've chosen it I'm presented here with this hard drive that I had with where my operating system has currently been installed and I can see both of them are drive zero so it's actually one hard drive if I had two hard drives in here, you would see a drive one and a drive two and so forth, depending on how many hard drives you had installed. And since I've got the one hard drive, it's broken up into two actual partitions. And I actually want to get rid of those partitions. So I typically like to go to the drive options there and hit delete. And I'll do the same thing for partition one, delete it. And you can see that deleting both partitions now it gives me my hard drive of zero which is my first hard drive and the whole thing is unallocated space meaning that there's no partitions there's no formatting going on or anything right now now Windows will actually do all my partitioning that I need so I don't need to worry about that right now if you are more advanced and you want to partition you can go to the new and choose a new partition I'm gonna go ahead and leave everything now just the way that it is and choose next And now you can see that Windows is going to go through the process and it's going to take about 15 minutes or so to run through all of these things and then it's going to restart my computer so it's going to go ahead and install the files for me that I need, the features and the updates and then finishing up and then it will restart my computer. And you can see now that my computer is going to restart. And I will mention that when your computer restarts do not press any keys to reboot it, you just want to let it run normally. And now you'll see that your computer is starting to get ready. It's basically using those files that just got installed onto the hard drive and it's setting up or finishing the installation here. And it's still going to take about another 10 to 15 minutes before everything runs through and we're set up. But it's going to go ahead and you can see where it says getting ready. It's going to present me a screen here in a few minutes that will allow me to put in my login name and so forth. So we're going to let this keep running. I'm now chosen with the personalization option of my computer and you can see that you can move this color uh, selector over and pick a different color, kind of the default colors for your particular operating system. I'm going to go ahead and just move it all the way over to the right and I am also given the option here for a host name of my computer, basically the computer's name. And so I'm going to go ahead and just type in um, PC LS. There we go. That'll be the name of my computer. I'll just go ahead and choose next. And you can see that you're given two different options. You can use the express settings or you can customize the settings. Now using the express settings you'll see a list of bulleted items here that are going to be applied to your computer if you choose that. And I'm going to choose the express settings here and it will automatically install important recommended updates. It's, so it's going to turn that on. It's going to help protect your computer from unsafe files 
You can also turn on the Do Not Track in Internet Explorer and several different other options that are listed here will be enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Use Express Settings. Now I'm with Windows 8, it's a little bit different than the previous operating systems that Windows has had. This actually integrates your Microsoft email account or a live account that you have through Microsoft and you can see I can type in my email address now and kind of sync my computer to that particular operating system. The good things for that is if you have multiple devices with Windows 8 installed on it the settings can transfer over between computers which is kind of a nice new feature that they have. I do not want to use that for this purpose and if you're going to use Windows 8 for the business world you may not be using this at all but this is kind of more definitely geared towards the home user if you want to set this up. I'm going to choose to sign in without a Microsoft account which means that I will not take advantage of those benefits and you can see that there are two different options that they list here Microsoft account option or a local account option. Now the previous versions of Windows have all just focused in on the local accounts where you sign in to a or create an account on your computer that account is stored on your computer specifically and the files and everything that stay on your computer and so that's the traditional account that we've seen in Microsoft. Microsoft account here is the new account and you can go through the bullets here and see the differences between them. I'm going to use a local account so I'll choose local account and then I'm going to go ahead and type in my username. So I'll just type in lecture snippets and then a password and the password. And I will tell you that you are not allowed to use the same password for the password hint. So that is not the password I used above, but that's my hint, just password. So I'll choose finish and you can see that's going to finalize my settings. It's still going to take a few minutes for it to completely finalize everything on this computer. It's going to go through and basically test the performance, go through some different configurations to set up my desktop still, and you can see that it's greeting me at this moment, and it's going to be giving me the options of telling me how to use Windows 8 whenever we first start up. And so now after several minutes of it setting up, we have now successfully installed the Windows 8 operating system, and I'm currently presented with the start screen of the operating system.